What's going on, people? Welcome to the LV Live Show. I'm LV Live. Please hit that like, share, subscribe button. Once again, I'm going to thank all the new subscribers who have come by to my page. Uh, it's truly, truly appreciated, right? But listen, let's get right into it. Knicks lose a tough one tonight to the Boston Celtics, 99-75. to Hey, look, guys, look, the Knicks were shorthanded tonight, as we all know. Uh, Evan Fourier was out uh, with that thigh bruise, right? And then uh, you have um, Kemba out with knee tendonitis, and then you have uh, Derrick Rose, uh, he's out still with the ankle. Um, I heard that he's also started rehab, so hopefully he can be back in another month or so, uh, which I think the Knicks will need uh, as far as production because, listen, offensively, they just didn't have it. The first quarter was great. Um, IQ played really, really well tonight. Like I said, he's the future. Um, he definitely is the goods, man, as we say in New York City. He's definitely that. Um, I just think he needs one more year under this, un underneath his belt, which I think is this year, and I think next year he could possibly be the starter for the future. Um, he played well tonight. He shot well from the field. Um, RJ tried to get it going. Uh, he, he struggled tonight with his shot. Uh, seven for 21 from the field. He had 19 points, but he just, you know, he was struggling at times. In the beginning, he started off strong, but he just ended, didn't end off well. Uh, but one thing that's big for him, and he's got to get better with it. He's got to make his free throw. Free throws, period. Like, you know, he was one for five tonight. That can't happen, man. I mean, he's too good of a player. That's something you just, you got to work on, man. You got to sit in the gym. You got to put the work in to get, make, you know, you should be shooting at least 80% from, from the free throw line. Tonight, the Knicks were six for 15. From the free throw line, he shot 40% from there from the line. You can't, that can't happen, man. Not in the NBA. That can't happen, especially when you're shorthanded. You need every point that you can get. Um, you know, but uh, the Celtics were rolling. They, you know, they're big hitters. Uh, of course, Tatum and um, Brown. Um, Brown had a triple-double tonight. I believe he had 23 points, I believe, and he had 11 rebounds, 11 assists. Uh, Tatum had 19 points. Um, you know, their big guns were great. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, Richardson came off the bench. He played well for them. He had 17 points. Um, and that's what hurt the Knicks also, because you got to understand, we didn't have no production from the bench tonight. None. Because, of course, we were shorthanded. Um, the only poor person that, you know, gave us something off the bench was uh, Grimes. He had six points. Um, so that was tough for the Knicks, man. Offensively, we just struggled. After that first quarter, we lost every single quarter. Every single quarter. Uh, you know, second quarter, we lost 23 to 16. Of course, the third quarter of doom is what I call it. We lost 32 to 18. And the fourth quarter, we lost 23 to 15. You know, that's just... That's the ball game. You know what I mean? I believe also, too, you know, when the game was somewhat close, you know, start the third quarter, you know, Boston went on an 11-2 run. That was it. That's the ball game, man. And we <laughs> we couldn't get back after that, you know, and that's tough. And, you know, what hurts the most, and, you know, we have to be honest. We got we to we touch on those guys. Randall, you know, his lack of production, especially after the whole thumb down, thumbs down thing this week. Um, you thought he was going to come out strong tonight with a big effort, and he didn't. Lackluster, man. Shot terrible from the field. Uh, let me read down his stat line, which, which was terrible. He was 6 for 19 from the field, 1 for 8 for 3, uh, 12 rebounds, 13 points. But the biggest issue with him is he has 6 turnovers. Once again, I don't know how many times everyone everyone is saying it. I don't know why Tibbs isn't recognizing it. But get the ball out of his hands. He's not a point forward. We have point guards for that. You, like, Come on, man. Like, You have to... Understand that that's what's hurting his game. He thinks he's a point. He's not a point forward. <laughs> he's got to get down that bar high. He's got to get busy. He's got to get rebounds. He's got to get guys, you know, try to draw double teams to kick out like he was doing. And then when he gets a smaller guy on him, get busy. Don't try to shoot a fall away. Like just, you know, just just try to pretty much dominate down there. This is what you want your stars to do. When you're shorthanded, you're expecting guys to come in who are stars. You come in and say, all right, I got us tonight. We're going to be good. You know, I'm going to get us over the mountaintop. That, that's the key. That's what the great ones do. So, you know, he was an all-star last year, which was great. Okay? You know, but but this year, his his inconsistent play is what's really hurt the Knicks. Because now you're hoping that guys like Obi or Burks or, uh, you know, Kemba or Fourier or Grimes, you're hoping that these guys come in at 25 points, 30 points. You're hoping they have big nights. Right? But that shouldn't be the case. They're mainly there to be fillers for the stars. The stars are RJ and Randall, right? You're expecting Randall and RJ to pretty much produce, and those guys just come in and fill in in certain spots to add to the team. But with RJ and um, Randall's can inconsistent play all season it was, is what hurt us. I'm telling you, this, that, that's the biggest problem. Um, Randall specifically, I'm sorry, that's just the truth. And um, he's got to be a better leader. Um, he's got to take over games. He's got to do that. that. Those are what the greats do. Um, it's, it's just it's just frustrating, and this is why the fans get on him. 
This is why they boo. This is why they do the stuff that they do. Because they're expecting certain things from you, especially when you're getting all that money. And then on top of that, uh, you you know, you want to wear the crown. You want to be the man. Uh, like I said in my last show, you know what I mean? Heavy is the head that wears the crown. I mean, that's just what it is, especially in this city. So we're expecting you, when we're shorthanded, to step up and produce. And when you don't do that, you're going to hit the boo birds. <laughs> I mean, that's, just, that's just what it is, man. Uh, and so, you know, he's got to play better. He has to. Um, and that's what hurt us tonight, believe it or not, you know, because we were shorthanded and we needed just our stars to step up and contribute and to really help us. Because, man, listen, we, we weren't getting points from any place. Um, even Burke struggled tonight. So uh, we just needed those guys to really, you know, be, you know, be, 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 you know, be offensive minded for us and really kind of take us there and kind of just, you know, um, you know, just make it tough for Boston, um, who pretty much did what they wanted. You know, Marcus Smart was out there. You know, looking like a defensive stopper, man, just stopping everybody. You know, he just was – he's he's the heart and soul of that team. Um, so, you know, he pretty much showed it tonight just defensively because um, that, you know, that played a big role also too. Um, Jennings just couldn't score. And, that, you know, that you know pretty much it starts with defense, man. As they say, defense was championships, and that's what Celtics did tonight, man. They pretty much locked us in defensively. So, uh, tough loss. But listen, Monday night we got uh, the Spurs coming into town, so into the garden. So, hopefully we can make up for that on Monday. All right, but listen, I'm LV Live. That's my show. All right, please hit that like button. Hit that like button. Hit that like button, people. All right, once again, leave comments. You know what I mean? So we can go back and forth from debate and, of course, keep it G rated. All right, I'm LV Live. This is my show. I appreciate you guys coming by, and I'm out. Peace.